Hi there, this is Lawrence Simon, a technical writer on the documentation team at cPanel. I'm here to show you how to use cPanel to manage PostGrey databases and database users. You can use databases for a wide variety of web applications, such as forum software. Let's go ahead and log in to cPanel. Here we are in the cPanel home interface. We'll create a new database. Let's scroll down to the Databases section and click PostGrey Database Wizard. The wizard appears. First, let's name the database. The database may include a prefix with your username and an underscore. This depends on how your system administrator has configured your server. Your database name can have a maximum length of 64 characters. This includes the database prefix. And because of the way the system stores database names and usernames, underscore characters count as two characters. Click Create Database to proceed to the next step. Next, we'll create a user for the database. Enter the username in the text box. Once again, there may be a database prefix in the username. Your database username can have a maximum length of 64 characters. The same rules for database names apply to the database username, the prefix, the maximum length, and underscore characters. Then, we'll enter a password for the user and confirm it. The strength bar indicates the relative strength of your password. You can use the password generator to generate a secure password. Click Create User to proceed to the next step. We need to grant privileges to the user on the database. Click Submit to do that. A confirmation message will appear. There's a list of options here. We can add another database, add another user to the database. Let's click Return to PostGrey Databases. The PostGrey Databases interface will appear. This is another interface that allows you to manage all your existing databases and database users. The current databases table contains all of the PostGrey databases on your account. Do you see the one we created in the wizard? It's right there. And we see the user that we created for the database. You can rename and delete databases with the icons in the current databases table and you can revoke user privileges on databases. I'll go ahead and rename this database. Click Rename, then enter the new name for the database, and click Proceed. This may take a while to run on your system, which depends on the size of the database. To delete a database, click the corresponding Delete icon. Then, confirm that you wish to delete the database. Or, click Cancel to return to the interface. Scroll down, and you will see the user that you created in the wizard. You can change the database user's password, rename the database user, or delete the database user. You can also use this interface to create databases, create database users, and add a user to a database. I'll add a user to a database. To do that, select the user from the menu, and then select the database. Click Submit, and a confirmation message appears. Click Go Back to return to the PostGrey Databases interface. When we look at the current databases table, we see the new user under the Privileged Users list. To remove that user, 
click the garbage can icon. And then, click Delete User from Database. This does not delete the user. It just revokes their privileges for that database. To delete the database user, we need to delete them from the current users table. If you want to work with the actual database tables, go back to the Home cPanel interface. Scroll down to Databases, and then click PHP PG Admin. This will launch the PHP PG Admin application. You can create tables, create variables, export and import data, and perform many other database functions. You can learn more about how to use this application at phppgadmin.sourceforge.net. For more information about cPanel, the hosting platform of choice, go to cPanel.com or follow us on Twitter. Thank you for watching.